Meghan confirmed that they would be returning to the UK for the Jubilee, saying they were excited and honoured to do so. But writing on Twitter, royal biographer Angela Levin wrote, Harry wanted privacy and to be ordinary. He also hated cameras. But he's ended up doing an at-home docuseries for Netflix. Meghan Markle and Prince Harry's departure from the royal family has sparked questions over whether the royal couple will return or become Hollywood celebrities. PR expert Lita Citroen has claimed that the celebrity route is more natural for Meghan but not as comfortable for Harry. Speaking on Us Weekly's Royal Us, Ms. Citroen said, I think what was interesting in Tina Brown's book is, I think there's this idea that Meghan grew up in celebrity. When you grow up in celebrity, there's a lot you take for granted and looks to be in place in a royal institution but it isn't the same. The responsibility, the loyalty, the protocol is different. It would probably feel more natural to her and I'm guessing to want the celebrity. There's a lot of risk that comes with that, there's a lot of treacherous landscape. I think that might be something Harry's not as comfortable with because he grew up in a very different culture which is the institution's culture. I could see them almost pulled in different directions. Meghan going celebrity and Harry still feeling the comfort of the institution but still attracted to the freedom of celebrity. Host Christina Garibaldi added, I feel like that could be a recipe for disaster but I hope not. It comes as Meghan's animated show about a young girl has been dropped by Netflix. In other news, Meghan Markle and Prince Harry are gearing up to celebrate their fourth wedding anniversary today, and it'll be their third over the pond. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex got married in a lavish televised ceremony complete with a slew of celebrity guests and a wedding gown to die for during a gorgeous sunny day at Windsor Castle in 2018. According to royal expert Duncan Larcombe, the Duke and Duchess will likely make their kids the priority and are expected to celebrate their special day as a family alone. Larcombe is also Prince Harry's biographer, and wrote Prince Harry, The Inside Story. In an exclusive interview, he told, It's amazing really that four years ago there were nearly two billion people watching as they got married in the wonderful fanfare. And here they are four years on very, very isolated. Meghan isn't speaking to anyone in her family apart from her mom. And we know that Harry is a loggerheads with a lot of his family. The expert explained that their celebrations are likely to be a very private occasion because it's Meghan and Harry against the world. When you've got kids they are the priority. So I think you'd expect them to mark the day as a family alone rather than having a big party or anything like that, the biographer then mused. Last year, the Duke and Duchess chose to mark the occasion by showing their charitable nature and giving the world an opportunity to join them. They announced an expansion to their partnership with World Central Kitchen to assist with COVID relief efforts in India. The initiative was the couple's first major collaboration since they stepped down from their roles in the royal family. In a statement on Archul's website for their anniversary, the couple said, In support of India, Archul Foundation and World Central Kitchen are focusing on the long term needs of local communities. The Mumbai location will be the third in a series of four community relief centers that our organizations have committed to develop in regions of the world disproportionately affected by natural disaster. Before last year, Harry and Meghan had been prone to sharing a new photo or memory from their relationship or nuptials with their fans on social media. While the couple have since come off their platforms, they still share sweet moments via our tool. And in terms of how they'll mark the anniversary with each other, Larcombe suspects Meghan will prepare a sweet gesture for the father of her children, be it a gift or otherwise. Yes, definitely. They are still relatively newly married and you won't expect Meghan to do something romantic and poor old Harry trying his best to live up to the expectation, the biographer teased. The royal expert went on to say that despite the fact Harry and Meghan's lives as a married couple have changed dramatically since they upped sticks to their Montecito mansion in America, he doesn't believe the Duchess had a cunning plot all along like some do. I don't think there's any truth in that, he said. I think Meghan's expectations of being a royal was incredibly different from the reality. And now what they've got is the ability to cherry-pick all the stuff they want to do but they get out of having to shake hands with old ladies in Milton Keynes, which is what William and Kate still have to do. They're free from the grind of royal duty but they have set themselves up as a satellite royal couple. And they're still behaving as though they are very much part of the royal family in many ways, the biographer added. It comes as the Duke and Duchess will also have another family occasion to celebrate in the coming weeks, as their daughter Lilibet has her first birthday on June 4th.